皆さんこんにちはお元気ですか Hi guys my name is Lisa welcome to my channel and if you are new here はじめまして Lisa です OK so I teach Japanese on my channel in the most easiest and the fastest way and you're most welcome here in today's video we will talk about 9 ways to say thank you in Japanese so if you do not know how to say thank you in Japanese You are really, really missing an important part of this language because to say thank you is important to like it's equally important as far as breathing is important. So I, I really mean this because thank you is a phrase that you gotta use everywhere. So you can say it's the most important phrase in Japanese. So we gotta make sure that you know the different ways, nine different ways to say thank you when you meet somebody in Japan. Okay. Now, this is a phrase that you gotta use the maximum times. Like, even if somebody picks a pen for you, you gotta say thank you. Even if somebody gives you a gift, a souvenir, um, a, a birthday present, or whatever, thank you is something that should be on the tip of your tongue. Especially when you want to work in Japan. So, you should be able to express your gratitude in perfect terms, in, it is, and it is a really important task to do. The way you gratify depends on several things, like the you, the reason, the situation, the relation with the person being kind, and what not. So, like, for instance, even though you have friendly relations with your boss, when you want to thank him, maybe because he gave you a holiday, you should be very, very polite with him. So the way you're saying thank you is going to differ from the way you say thank you to your friend. So you can't treat your boss and your friend equally, nor you can say thank you to them in the same manner. I know it would really take a bit of time for you to make this thing implemented. I mean like in English we say thank you even to the most superior person and even to your friend. It is not like... You treat both of them differently, but in Japanese, you gotta treat your boss extremely politely and your friend casually. Like, for example, when you are with your family or with your friends, you get casual, right? Or with young children or with extremely close people, you tend to treat them showing your closeness, but you cannot show your closeness to your boss. You rather prefer being distant. This is to make sure that you are enough polite. Anyway, so do you want to say thank you in Japanese? Before we start our lesson, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to support me continue doing this work and share it with your friends who are also trying to learn Japanese. The first phrase, domo. Domo. Domo means thanks. You can say it to only your friends or somebody really, really close to you because it's an extremely informal phrase. And you cannot, cannot use it for elders or respectful people like your teacher. Number two. Arigato. Arigato. This is such a famous phrase and I'm sure you have heard of this if you have, even if you have just started learning Japanese. Arigato is a phrase that you can use to say thank you to your friend. It's again similar to domo, but it's a slightly more politer Then, domo. So, yeah, you can use either domo or arigato when you're with your friends. So, this is used when you want to say thank you for something good or helpful that has been done to you. So, you can say to your friend for lending you a pencil, but you cannot use it for elders or for somebody like teacher or a boss. Number three. Domo arigato. Okay, now you are already introduced with two parts of this phrase. If I break it up, it's domo and arigato. We already saw what domo and arigato mean, right? Now when you put them together, the third phrase developing as a combination of the first and the second phrase is a bit bit more politer. Just remember, when you add domo, Whatever it is, it becomes a slight more polite. Still, domo arigato is not perfect to be used for 
elders, seniors, superiors. So use it for your friends and family only. Number four. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. This is again one of the most general and most most commonly used phrase in Japan for saying thank you. Arigato gozaimasu is a way to say thank you formally. So, yeah, here is the phrase, the first phrase that you can use to show respect as well as thank you for elders. So, please, please do not use it with your friends. If you use it with your friends, um, I hope they would not mind, but they'll just laugh at you, like, or just roll their eyes, like, why are you pretending to be so weird? Why are you saying arigato gozaimasu to us? Because with the friends, when you say arigato gozaimasu, it shows your respect. And I think with the friends, we are more casual than respectful, don't we? We rather prefer being close with them than being formal. So that's what it makes difference. So do not use arigato gozaimasu in order to stop being weird between your friends. Otherwise, they would just laugh at you. And I don't want that to happen. So... You can say it to your teacher at the end of a lesson. Or you can use it for a boss also. Number five. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. We right now saw the phrase number four, which was arigato gozaimasu. Now, the past tense of arigato gozaimasu is arigato gozaimashita. So to make the past tense in Japanese, we just convert the last mas into mashita. So wherever you see mashita, it's probably the past tense. So this is the past tense of thank you. Now, it is not so, so important to know because you can simply say arigato gozaimasu. Even in case if you want to say arigato gozaimashita. These two phrases are extremely similar and do not make much of difference. But... Arigato gozaimashita can be used to write a thank you letter or it can be used for somebody that did good to you in the past. So something good is done to you already in the past. So that's when you gotta use arigato gozaimashita. Okay? Are you getting it? Wakarimashita? Okay. Phrase number six. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Okay, so I think now you are much introduced with this phrase again because we already saw domo separately as a phrase number one and arigato gozaimasu as a phrase number four. So when you put this together, it becomes domo arigato gozaimasu. As I previously said, when you add domo to anything, it becomes more polite. So domo adds to your politeness. Domo arigato means thanks a lot. So similarly, Arigato gozaimasu, when added with domo in the front, means thank you very much in a polite and formal way. So simply arigato is casual. When you add domo, it becomes slight more polite. In the same way, arigato gozaimasu is formal, yet when you add domo, it becomes even more formal. So domo arigato gozaimasu is probably one of the most polite ways to say thank you. Okay. Next, phrase number seven. Sumimasen. Sumima, sumimasen. Some people also say it as suimasen. There is just a change in pronunciation, but while writing, you have to write it this way only. Now, you might be thinking that sensei, sumimasen means excuse me or I'm sorry. Then, what do you mean by sumimasen as thank you? I mean like, yeah, you are correct. It used, it does mean thank you. But it also means excuse me or I'm sorry. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, I understand for a foreign speaker, a single phrase meaning three things is a kind of weird. But you will understand why it's so now. Now you can use sumimasen to thank someone when you want to acknowledge the trouble that somebody has taken for you. Now, for example, if I brought a souvenir for you, 
for example, let's say I went to Switzerland and wore Prada wristwatch for you. So you are extremely happy, but you say, oh, Sudmasem. So why do you say Sudmasem here? Because you feel that it was a trouble for me to bring this all the way to you. And I took trouble for you. So you're acknowledging that I'm so sorry that you have to take so much of trouble for me. Just for my benefit, isn't it? So what you're doing is you are apologizing for having made somebody go to trouble for your good. At the same time, you're also thanking them for doing it. So it's a blend of both sorry as well as thank you. Now, it doesn't actually matter whether you asked for it or not. This is a form of politeness. Osoreirimasu is another expression for thank you in Japanese. Now, this is something that you'll not see casually, like this is not something that we use every day. Rather, it is a really, really polite expression that is preferred by businessmen and business people when they are talking to their customers. So, it's an extremely polite one and it's often seen only in business meetings. So, tend not to use it in daily life. Now, just like sumimase that I mentioned earlier, osoreirimasu is used to thank somebody who you, whom you want to acknowledge the trouble that somebody has gone for you. So, take osoreirimasu as a very, very polite version of sumimase. So you might be going off like, what? There are so many levels of politeness in Japanese. And I'm like, yep, there are. Because we care whether we not hurt a person by pretending to be less formal. So there are a variety of formalities. The higher you go, the more polite versions you get for different phrases. Like, arigato, arigato gozaimasu, sumimasen, osore irimasu are in an increasing order of their politeness. Now, you shall not use osoreirimas with your friends or with your family members because this is a, a really formal phrase and as I said, it's seen only in business meetings. But if you use it to thank your customers, your bosses, your or even strangers, you're guaranteed to leave a quite an impression on them. So, note it down. So, that's all for this lesson and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, before you go, do not forget to subscribe, share it with your friends who are also trying to learn Japanese, like this video, comment below and let me know. Now, I'll see you next in the next video. What did I say? Okay. Matane. Bye-bye.